Hello, my name is Kenny. Welcome to Emi Claudia. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to fix a gaping ham hole. Over time, I discovered that I started having gaping on my ham hole. What do I mean by gaping? Gaping means when you have a looseness on your garments that causes it, that causes it not to be fitting on your body. When you have extra fabric hanging around your body, in this case, I have gaping on my armhole. That means I have extra fabric hanging around my armhole. So while I noticed this development, I started making research and find, looking for ways to fix the issue. Along the line, I discovered that I need to be adding bust darts to my garments. So I did that. I added bust darts and I discovered that the gaping still remains. So I continued my research. Later on, I found out that I could actually remove the gaping completely. I would have to remove the excess from the fabric and use that method to remove the gaping. And in the process of doing that, I discovered that I can actually convert the gaping into a dart in that part, in that part of the garment. So while I was trying to remove the gaping from the armhole, I eventually found out a method where I could actually convert the excess fabric into a dart. If you'd like to see how I do this, how I convert the looseness, the gaping on the armhole into a dart, let's head to the cutting table. To start with, I'll be drafting my basic bodies. I'm sorry, my paper looks rumpled. This is what I have at the moment and I, I really want to do this video now. So please bear with me. I hope you can see this clearly. That's why I'm, um, that's why I'm using a colored pencil. So this is my starting point, this is my chest line, my bust line, and my waist line. So I'll start with my back measurement. My back is seven, 14 inches, so that's 7 inches. And on that point, I'll mark 1 inch to, to draw my shoulder slant. So I'm connecting that to my center front. I assume we all know how to draft a basic body. So from there, I'll measure my 7 inches again. Okay. And 7 inches here as well. I'll be imputing my horizontal measurements of my vertical lines. Here I'll put my bust circumference measurement here as well. And this will be my waist circumference. 28 inches for my waist, that's 7 inches. And I'll make my dart one and a half inch. My dart intake will be one and a half inches. My bust span will be 36 divided by 8, and that will be 4.5. Mark 3 quarter inch on both sides. Yeah, 3, three quarter of an inch on both sides of that bust span. I'm sharing 1 inch on both sides so that I would eventually have one and a half for my dart. My boss plan is still 4.5. I'll measure that me, uh, that figure here on my boss line. Then one inch below that point is where I'll start my dart. I'll start to draw my dart next. This is the middle of my dart. Now I just need I need to connect my side seam here. Having done that, next thing is to draw my ham hole. I'll divide this place into two. I have seven inches here, divided by two is three one quarter. And on this on this place I'll I'll insert my across chest. 
and cross chest is 12 and a half inches. So I'll divide 12 and a half by 2. If I divide 12 and a half by 2, I have 6 1 quarter of an inch. This will be my cross chest. I'll use that to mark the, to draw the armhole. So here's my armhole, front armhole. Now in order to fix the gaping like I've explained before, okay, in order to find out where to start to fix your gaping, you have to pin the part where the excess fabric is on your garment, like this. You can do it on a mannequin or do it even on yourself while you are wearing the garment. Once you have pinned it, you would measure from your shoulder seam, from this shoulder seam right along to where the gaping started. I have about four and a half inches here. And from there, I would measure, remember we folded this. I would measure what I have on one side of the gaping. I have one inch here. So that, because it's folded, my gaping, overall gaping figure will be two inches. So from that four and a half inches, I'll mark the four and a half on my armhole here. From that, this mark, I'll mark my gaping excess, which is two inches. So these two points, I'll start again from the shoulder seam, I'll measure where my gaping started. And from that point where the gaping started, I would put my gaping excess measurement, which in this case is 2 inches in my case. So I'm going to find the middle point of that, that place. Okay. I'm using my tape rule to find the exact middle point of the curve. It's, it's curved so you have to be careful in measuring it accurately. So this is my bust span. I'm connecting those lines to my bust span. Remember I said I'm converting it to a dart. If I were to remove it, I will just slash it and spread and close it. And that means I'll be adding extra darts to another place. But in this case, I want to turn it to a dart. Now this is the, my new dart on my body's front. So the next thing I'll do now is find, okay, before I go ahead to do that, I am yet to put my shoulder, um, neckline. So here's my neckline. I'm using three inches by three inches because it's a basic product. I still need to. Okay, I'll The next thing I will do is redraw my dart legs. Remember my, this is my bust span. Our bust don't start exactly on the bust span. You have to back away by about one inch, three quarter of an inch, based on your cup sizes. So in this case, I'll be backing off from the bust span by about three quarter of an inch. I'm using another color of pen so that you see clearly what I'm doing. So from here, I'll redraw my dark legs. So these are my new dark legs. Now the next thing I'll do is to throw my dart. So to throw my dart, what I'll need to do is to be able to have a better control, I'll cut out this pattern with extra 
extra paper around it because I'll need it for throwing the dart. Now, in order to throw my dart, I'll fold this one dart leg, like one dart leg on top of the other dart leg. So to do that, I'll fold this. You don't really need to care about this center, center dart leg. What you care about is that the one, this dart leg, this dart leg is folding on top of this dart leg. So remember we have redrawn our dart, so we are focusing on the new dart that we have redrawn. And we want our dart fold to fold towards the side. For an unfold dart, you want your dart to fold to the side, your dart excess. This is your dart excess, you should fold towards the side. And if you like, you can fold it towards the center, just ensure that. You trim it appropriately when you are doing that. But for me, I think it works better when I do it like this. And when I read some pattern drafting books, I discovered that the right place to fold and handle that is towards the side seam. So that's what I'll be doing here. So I'm folding one that on top of the other. Okay. So after folding, this is what I have. So if you can see it, the armhole has shifted. It has shifted and I practically do not have a handhold anymore. So this this was my armhole core and this is the rest of the armhole core. So what I need to do is to redraw the armhole by blending both of this curve and this curve together. But before I do that, I will pin this fold. If you have a tape, you can use it. Preferably a, an, a transparent tape. And preferably something you can write on. What I'll be doing now is to redrawn my hand pole. And to do that, I'll just follow the hand hole line I have here to redraw a new hand hole. I'm using another color of paint so you can see it well. Now this is my new hand hole. So if I'm cutting my pattern, I'm cutting my handhold along this line. I discovered that each time I, any time I do this, my measurement, the length of my, the length of my bodies tend to shorten. I guess it's because I folded this part and this, this side too is reduced. So what I do is I just add extra to the length. And extra to the side. But before I do that, I'll just trim this part, trim it out, so that I'll have my dart jugs. You can use a, you can use a, you can use a scissors to do this. You just cut it out directly. I'm just showing you this so that you know you can also use this method. So my tracing wheel has actually given me a mark here to see how my darts will look when I 
cut it with my scissors so i'm just going to be pressing that part out with a pen so when i cut it out i have something like this so before i go ahead and add the I just cut it out so that you see how it looks. So this is how my dad looks so that when I stitch my sleeve to the ham hole like this, I would hold it down. When I stitch my dad, I would have stitched my dad to the to the dark point, and after I've done that, I will fold it like this towards the side seam. And when I'm stitching my ham or my sleeve to the ham hole, if it's going to have a sleeve. I will know that my dart is my dart will be positioned like this. Okay, like I said earlier, that my pattern tends to have a little shortage. So I noticed that I have about about one inch to one quarter of an inch shortage at the hem at the waistline. So I just return that. and connect back to the center front okay also for the side seam it's a very minute thing like half inch a quarter of an inch so i just do that here as well and connect to my side seam to end at the side seam blinding so my dart is ready and this is basically how I convert my gaping issues into a dart to have a better fit for my garment. If you'd like to see how you can get rid of this dart completely from here, without needing to have any darts here, uh, let me know in the comment below. So the next thing to do is to just cut it out. That means I'll be extending my dart legs to the waist, new waistline. And this is it on how to fix a gaping armhole, converting the extra fabric into a dart. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.